I'm in Lexington, Kentucky, and this home behind me is the Hunt Morgan House, home uh, to the prominent Hunt and Morgan families. Um, that included John Hunt Morgan. Even though we didn't technically live in this house, he lived somewhere over there. Here's the historical marker for the Hunt Morgan house. Also, Dr. Thomas Hunt Morgan, who is John Wesley Hunt's great-grandson, he was known as the father of modern genetics and the first Kentuckian to win a Nobel Prize. So the home was built in 1814. Family uh, were the first millionaires west of the Allegheny Mountains. Hopemont is also a pretty long structure there with the uh, balcony. So when I went in, they were about to have a large group tour and they said it was through capacity and that I couldn't get on it, but they did offer to uh, let me get a speed run around the house. Um, I didn't have to pay admission, so I saved 12 bucks. And um, so this is what footage from that is. So it's not quite as in-depth as I was hoping to do. John Wesley Hunt originally got his fortune as an early mercantilist in Lexington, starting around the time Lexington was established. John had an interest in banking, horse breeding, agriculture, and hemp, so he was making bank. The home is a great example of federal style architecture on the exterior with a Palladian window for example, but also the interior has lots of federal elements. This is inside the parlor. These are portraits of John's daughter, Henrietta, and Calvin Morgan, and the baby is future General John Hunt Morgan. By the way, John Hunt Morgan got expelled from Transylvania University for dueling. General Morgan's mother would have looked out this window at the Union headquarters of the city and a Union hospital that was built right outside their home. I mentioned outside that Dr. Thomas Hunt Morgan was born in this home in 1866, and he won the Nobel Prize for discoveries about the role chromosomes play in heredity. This is the Alexander T. Hunt Civil War Museum, and this is the cavalry saddle and equipment of General Morgan. Morgan was known as the Thunderbolt of the Confederacy because of his raid tactics and daring moves. He may have used the saddle in his infamous 1863 raid through Indiana and Ohio. That is a portrait of the general. Two uniforms, one Union and one Confederate. This uniform was worn by Confederate General Basil Duke, Morgan's brother-in-law. He took over Morgan's command after his death in 1864, and he was later a historian and wrote about Morgan's raid. The sword is said to have been used by General Morgan. a flag planted on Lookout Mountain in 1863, and a cell door from the Ohio State Penitentiary where Morgan was locked up after the raid. That is an early clay model for Lexington's John Hunt Morgan statue, which was recently removed, and I couldn't find its new location. So I'll tell you a little bit more about Confederate General John Hunt Morgan. Uh, he did mostly raids uh, in the Union. He was known as uh, the Horse Raider because uh, he would pretty much just steal. The pinnacle of his involvement in the Confederate Army um, was his raid across southern Indiana and southern Ohio in 1863. Um, it didn't really provide any strategic importance. They just like pillaged uh, some towns, stole some stuff. Um, and in Ohio, uh, he did get captured and the raid came to an end, but a few months later he did uh, escape. Um, after he escaped and he's like, hey, I'm back, let's go raid some stuff, uh, none of the other Confederate officers took him seriously. So he got pretty minor roles after his uh, big raid in Greenville, Tennessee. Um, he was surprised by a Union attack 
and uh, he got shot in the back and killed, and I was at his grave earlier today in uh, the Lexington Cemetery, and I have a separate video that I did there. This is the uh, courtyard. Now they were like the only Confederate sympathizing family and um, if they looked out that window, you could see right over here where this Carnegie Library is now. That was a Union hospital and uh, the brick building over there was the Union headquarters. Wow, this is a Carnegie Library. This one's massive. I think it's one of the uh, early ones. Yeah, it says on the plaque, 1902, gave 60,000. So uh, he's very generous to uh, the early libraries. So the home across from where the Union Hospital was, right here, the Bodley Bullock House was the Union headquarters of Lexington. Apparently they do group tours. This was the home and office of Dr. Samuel Brown, the first professor of chemistry, anatomy, and surgery at Transylvania Medical School. This is a beautiful home nearby. Here I might look at some of the old houses in the Gratz Park neighborhood too. As the Alexander Moore House, he was the first guy to sell school books here in the Lexington area. That's an Italianette style house. It's a Queen Anne style home. This is uh, the only remaining part of the original Transylvania Medical School building that used to be right here. It burned in 1829, and this was a dependency of it. That was a really cool building. The Marquis de Lafayette might have been a guest here in 1825. This is a marker to James Allen, who uh, graduated from Transylvania University. He wrote the uh, very popular bluegrass stories. And in memory of James Allen, we made this fountain of two naked children. So this is the front of Transylvania University. This is the cabin of Colonel Robert Patterson. He helped found Lexington, Cincinnati, and Dayton, Ohio. And he also helped charter Transylvania University, so they brought his cabin here to the campus. This big gated house is known as the Hope House. So these are the Goodlow houses. Um, a free African American couple originally lived on the site here, then this uh, rich white lady bought the land and built these three fancy homes for her children. This is Mount Hope, home of the wealthy Gratz family, who were hemp manufacturers. The ongoing joke I'm the weak ones. <laughs> this tulip tree here thinks very highly of itself. Sorry this wasn't quite as in-depth as I was hoping to do, but at least I got to go in and see the place. Um, if you like this video, you like Civil War history, I have a bunch of other videos at Civil War historic sites and museums, uh, so please go check those out and subscribe, and thanks for watching.